Hello, Hello swap mates! Welcome to the Swap Channel. I'm Darlene. And I'm Jessa. For the third part of our series, It's Okay Not to Be Okay, we are going to talk about why we need to let go of worry. For most of us, it has become an automatic response when facing uncertainties. Ako, I worry about the safety of my loved ones doon sa Pinas. And for the future din, such as whether I, I'll grow old alone or could I reach the goals I set for myself. You know, stuff like that. How about you, Jessa? Ano naman yung mga worries mo sa life? Parehas din tayo ng worries, Dardine. Uh, Nag-worry din ako sa, pamili- sa pamilya ko sa Pilipinas dahil malayo ako sa kanila. Just like in this time of pandemic, ang dami nating alalahanin. Ang daming nawala ng mga minamahal sa buhay, ang daming nawala ng trabaho, bumagsak ang ekonomiya, ang negosyo, ah... Uh, Pumagsak ang ekonomiya ng buong bansa and all over the world. So Jessa, um, with this negative situation and, and uncertainty that all of us are facing, could you share to us how we could let go of worry as what the Bible says? Alam nyo mga kaswapmates, um, when we worry, we allow fear to disturb our inner peace. How do we replace worry? We replace worry with trust in God because the Bible tells us, Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Is worrying a good trait? Hindi, di ba? Ayan, sabi sa, uh, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 34, um, Jesus gives us five reasons why we do not need to worry. Una, do not need to worry because there is more to life than just food and clothing. Sabi sa verse 25, Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Hindi tayo nabubuhay para lang sa mga pagkain, dar. <laughs> Kailangan din natin ng pagkain espiritual. At sa buhay natin, we cannot change anything when we worry. When we worry for the future, for our life partner, for our finances. The best way to handle it is to give your worries to God. Surrender mo ng lahat ng yan sa Kanya. Because God cares a lot of a lot about us and um, give all your worries to Him because He cares for you. Indeed, there is more to life. Hindi naman siguro tayo nabubuhay sa mundo para lang kumain at you know, magsuot ng fashionable outfits. Yes. Ang saklap naman if that is the essence of our life. I do believe that God allows us to live in this generation to serve His purpose and to give glory to Him. Amen to that. My purpose sa Lord kung bakit nabubuhay tayo ngayon sa mundo, which then leads to us to our second reason. You do not need to worry because you are more valuable in God's eyes. In verses 26 and 28 to 29, it says, Look at the birds of the air, for they neither soar, sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Verse 28, So, why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet, I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Minsan, dahil sa pag-aalala natin, nakakaramdam tayo ng insecurities and loneliness hanggang nauuwi na siya sa anxiety, stress, at ang pinakamalala pa ay ang depression. This verse reminds us na nandyan si Lord palagi, You are not alone. You are precious. Kaya kung kayang pakainin ni Lord yung mga ibon, how much tayo? How much ikaw? ba? Diba? <laughs> Since you are precious, God will provide for your needs, so no need to worry. Grabe talaga ang verses na to, Jessa. You know, what really caught my attention is yung question ni Jesus sa mga disciples niya. Are you not of more value? It's like Jesus is also asking the same question to us, swapmates. Are you not of more value? At times din kasi, Jessa, we nalilimutan natin yung value natin as a person. 
and the purpose of our existence because we are caught up with the harsh and demanding realities of life. Yung mga kumakaway ng mga due dates, mga pangangailangan ng pamilya natin back home, and other personal concerns natin may it be relationship or work related. But Jesus is telling us that our value is not measured by fulfilling all of these expectations. Since we are valuable more than anything, God will provide for our needs. Totoo yan mga ka-swap mates. You are valuable in God's eyes. That's why sa pangatlong reason, you do not need to worry because worrying does not change anything. Verse 27 says, which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? Ang reflection ko sa verse na ito, uh, sometimes we worry about our physical appearance, our face, our body. Ang dami mga tanong, mga reklamo na, bakit ganito yung itsura ko? Bakit ganito yung height ko? Eh, pinanganak ang ganyan eh. <laughs> Okay, um, yung pag-worry mo, uh, it cannot solve your problem, no? Uh, ang sobrang pag-aalala ay hindi nakakadagdag ng oras ng buhay mo. Bagkos, ito ay uh, makakabawas pa sa oras ng buhay mo. Mapapadali pa yung buhay mo. Gusto nyo ba yun? <laughs> Of course, hindi. Sino naman, ba? I do agree with what you said, Jessa. Worrying does not make you physically fit, nor will it make you look better. Instead, magkakaroon ka pa ng wrinkles dahil dyan at magkakasakit ka pa ng dahil sa stress. Yun nga iba sa atin, nagagalit pa at nag-worry pa dahil sa political and economic situation sa Pinas at sa sitwasyon ng COVID sa buong mundo. Eh, mawawala ba ang COVID at magiging mayaman bang ba Pilipinas kapag nag-aalala tayo? Kaya, instead of worrying and complaining and ranting about things that are beyond our control in Facebook or in Twitter and even to our friends, let's just pray instead. Oh yes, lalo na ngayon, napapalapit na ang uh, presidential election sa Pilipinas, di ba? Uh, Nag, ang dami nag-aalala kung sino ang mahalal na Pangulo, di ba? Uh, but anyway, the point <laughs> is, you know, uh, you do not need to worry because God knows your needs. In verse 30 to 32, Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? Oh, you, li- you of little faith. Therefore, do not worry saying, what shall we eat, what shall, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things, the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. For example, may pinagpe-pray ako. Um, some prayers are answered immediately, um, but others take weeks, months, or even years. No? But Pero hindi ako nag-aalala about doon. Kasi um, while I am working and uh, doing my part in praying about my concerns, um, God is also working in me. True to that. And it is important to emphasize from this verse that God will provide our needs. Needs lang. Hindi yung wants natin. Dito papasok yung pagiging good steward natin sa lahat ng blessings na binibigay ni Lord sa atin. At yung pag-recognize sa mga bagay na needs and wants. God is truly amazing talaga mga kaswap needs because through these verses, God assures us na di niya tayo papabayaan. If you don't want God to call us you of little faith, let's start to practice worrying less and trusting God more. Amen to that! At ang panghuli, you do not need to worry because worrying is simple. In verse 34, it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. I'll give you tips on how I motivate myself para ibaling yung attention ko about sa pag worry First, read your Bible dahil doon ka makakakuha ng wisdom. And second is, surround yourself with positive friends. Instead of worrying, ito yung gawin natin, nasa verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Let's not spend our time in worrying and stressing about things that do not have eternal value. Let us focus our 
time on things that really matter. Let us uh, change our mindset in limiting ourselves and questioning your worth because you are far more valuable in God. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, trusting Him wholeheartedly that He will provide all our needs according His according to His riches and glory. Let us spread kindness and positivity. Kaya mga kaswap mates, there is no need for us to worry because God will provide for your needs, because He cares for you, and because you are precious to Him. So let's free ourselves from this bondage of worrying. Let it go. Worry less. Trust God more. Wow, what a wonderful discussion we had today about worrying, Jessa. Thank you so much for saying yes to our invitation and sharing your insights and reflection about letting go of worries. Thank you, Dean, for inviting me. It's a great blessing and privilege. So this has been Darlene and Jessa. See you in our next video. Bye, Bye. Swapmates! Hi, Hi guys. guys! Thank you for watching our video. I really hope, we really hope that you guys learned a thing or two. Uh, ikaw ba, Jess, dun sa talk, uh, ano ba yung nag For me, what really struck the most is when the speaker said na, you do not need to worry because God knows your needs. And it was such a very great reminder for me that I have a loving Father in Heaven who knows what I need. So, I do not need to worry about anything. Amen! Wow! That's How about point. you, Rich? Uh, siguro yung isang point nila na sinasabi na, uh, worrying doesn't change anything. So, I really think that's a very true statement, di ba? Na hindi ka naman talaga matutulungan ng worry, di ba? Hindi siya makakadagdag sa buhay mo. So, yeah. Let go of worry and trust God. Amen. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you have other suggestions na topics na gusto niyo i-tackle naman, please don't forget to comment down below. And, and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when we release a new video just like this. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. everyone!